Then I'm going to have lie downs again. At last. What? What kept you there? What became you from what? The car was late. The car was late. The car was late. You live here, you buffoon. Don't go destroying illusions. I'm a film star. Didn't you know that? would begin, and why can't you begin without you? Right. You've got well, would be the first time, would it? You've got something lovely to tell us, haven't you? Yes. Oh, viewers. Something delicious. I'm not pregnant. Well, no, it was more chocolate. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> yes. I have a lovely chocolate chilli crunch to share with you. A chocolate chilli it's crunch? A, it's good chocolate, this. It's good chocolate. We haven't done much with chocolate. We haven't done much with chocolate, then we're going to today. Okay. Yes. So, I'm going to get on with it. It won't take long, and the beauty of this recipe is it's very, very quick. Well, I shall. Leave you to it. Yes, would you? Don't go away. Ghastly woman. Right. This is a marvellous Morton recipe. Morton because I came up with it. It's got a lovely, edgy, chocolatey... Did you say edgy? Edgy! With that outfit. Hey. Rude. The first thing you need to do is grease your ramekins. There's nothing like a grease ram again, that's what I'll say. And if you've got some butter, make sure that you use the uh, packaging. It speaks very, very good. That sounds like something like granny. Yes! Well, it's very economical. Do you get that? Do you get that, Jim? I do. Do you get that, Jim? You don't need any special gadgets to grease up your ramekins. No, your ramekin can be greased without any special gadgets whatsoever. It's something you can buy in the supermarket. Or you can buy a lot of things in the supermarket of a certain rather questionable nature. Yes, mostly. You're wearing them. Yes. The next thing I have to do is put the chocolate in the bowl. How much chocolate is there, Brenda? There's 100 grams of chocolate. 100 grams? 100 grams of chocolate. Sort of 70% mixed chocolate. Yes! Oh, very good. I like the way you're helping me with my lines. Mm, yes. There's 70 grams of very good chocolate. 100 grams? Dark chocolate. Yes. Right, okay, I'm going to go put this in the bowl. All right, my bra strap's coming down again. But anyway, let's put the chocolate, that's the 70%, 100 grams of. Excellent, right, it's just being flickering yes. away there. Just keeping it nice and warm. Do you see that? That's all melting already. Isn't that lovely? Lovely. I have here also 25 grams of melted butter. You'll see why in a minute. Do you understand? Yes, you both do. So back to the table. Right, now the crunch, the chocolate crunch. This is what makes it such an acceptable, acceptable and lovely pudding. I have here plain chocolate to justice. Not milk, plain, not milk, plain, not milk, plain. And she's off. Yes! Shut up! Whose recipe is this? It's a quarter of a teaspoon, don't listen to her. The 
we go. Put a bit more in just for now. So once this all lovely coated, what happens then, Brenda? Then we put them in the ramekins, but just wait! I think that's probably all right, don't you? I think it is. Back to the ramekins. At this point, we take our grease ramekins and we place some greaseproof paper at the bottom of the ramekins. Now the reason for this is, although you've greased it, you actually want the crunch to come out easily when you actually tip it up. Ready for your guests! So are we saying that they're going to set in the little ramekins and then well, they're going to be turfed out? Yes, great. Yeah. Just so oh, we all I understand. They're clever dogs. Do you know, anybody would think I was speaking in Danish. You would! You think it. You dippy, 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 dippy. But I don't think so, do you? Six oh, was that racist? Well, they don't oody booty booty booty. Do you think them, that then? is actually racist? I suspect I should, on. I should be hammered by the watchdog. I should think that's quite a pleasant experience. I'm going to take the crumb. I'm just going to pour in a little bit. Have you only got me all close up? Right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right. At this point, what you want... So perhaps a couple of tablespoons in each one. You've just seen me yep. put in half a tablespoon in each. I would say and I'd find I find your clever comments just a little bit. Right. There we go. You see what I'm doing? So you're tamping it down now. You're tamping you? it down. Like, like your homemade cigarillos. Yes, you watch it now. You watch it. Right. Next position. It's not missionary. It is four eggs. White salt, if I might say so. I think I might. So we take that and we're going to whisk them up. How simple is this? I think it's simple. Don't you think it's simple? I think well, it's simple. Well, we'll see, won't we? I think it's simple. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Is this also unplugged? That is plugged in. Oh, that's good. To the bath. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that's a sapphire. I'll tell you what else there is to go in this, though. Yes! Some lemon juice. And that is half a lemon. It's juice of half a lemon. We want that, just that slight acidity to cut it. Well, that sounds nice. Yes! <coughs> and we want some chocolate. 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 That's the plain chocolate, isn't it? That's the plain chocolate. I've just melted it to it. Thank God. That's all going to be. Worked in. Looks lovely and unctuous. It looks lovely, glossy and unctuous. <sighs> Rather like me. After a lovely day and the coat is yours. Being oiled up in With local my... Turkish bath. Yes. There's nothing like being oiled up in a local Turkish bath. Had anybody noticed Laura the Lodge is rather lovely young man? No, we we couldn't help but notice him. Yes. He was naked. Yes. I find that quite acceptable. He didn't seem to find it so acceptable, I noticed that. He was rather, rather shy. He the, was rather I noticed shy. the duvet clutched to his clutched breast. To moves. There we are. Oh, I'm going anywhere. to actually combine the chocolate. Have you got this on close up? I have. You make sure you have. Right, this is where it comes Slowly, yes. Nice folding motion. Yes. I'm going to kill her. Okay, let's just test it. Let's just test oh. it. Sugariness. Need to test this spill. Needs a bit of sugar. Not much. Try not to. Yes! Beautiful! Come on, get on with it. Right. This is what we now do. We now pour this in here. And what is that? 
do, dear? It chills it. Pardon it's the in the temperature. It sets it. Thank you. That's the word we were looking for. Yes, it is. And in it goes. How splendid. Yes, you need to put it there for a couple of hours. Uh, uh, uh. And oh there my. we are. At this point, you'll notice it's actually quite hard. And hard is good. Wouldn't you say? Well, you won't find any disagreement. I either. didn't think I would. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut round it. Right, let's just try this out. Oh dear. There we are. Look at that. Marvellous. It's even left the... Uh, the paper disc. The paper disc. In. And I think that's rather exciting. Now let's take this. Now you might remember, we used some discs like this at the beginning, didn't we? Yes? They're non-stick, aren't they? They're non-stick! I've cut a bit out, or rather Fanny has, but I'm going to take credit for it. What is it? Brenda? It's actually the shape of <laughs> a chili. So it is. A I chili. can even see that from Yes! There. And on it, we're going to shake some chili. The suspense is killing me. I think you are very rude indeed. And here we have a chocolate crunch. And there's a certain homeliness to it, doesn't it, darling? It does have a certain homeliness. <laughs> I think you're a bit rude, but it will taste lovely. And as if by magic, I have some cream. Let's put it on. Who would you like some cream with your chocolate crunch? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Right, there we go. Thank God he said yes. Yes, thank God he said yes. Do come and have some. She bites. Yes, I bite. The dog bites. What do you think? What do you think? Give him a chance, darling. Mm. Mm. Do you like it? Mm. 